So today we have a 2007 Nissan Altima. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder. It has a code P302, which is a cylinder two misfire. Uh, we used our code reader, of course. Um, so today we're going to diagnose and figure out what the problem is and fix it. first theory is that there's a coil pack that has gone bad. That's a very common problem. I'm going to need a 5mm Allen wrench to get the engine cover off. Set it off to the side where it won't get damaged. Normally on a four cylinder engine, your first cylinder is going to be on the passenger side near the timing belt, which is gonna be over here. So this would be cylinder one, two, three, and four. Now, these are the coil packs, and my theory is that this coil pack number two is faulty, and it's causing a misfire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap coil pack two and three. And then I'm going to run the car for a while and see if the diagnostic code changes to a P303, which would indicate that the misfire would be following wherever this coil pack goes. So then say if I took this same faulty coil pack and put it on cylinder one, I'd have a P301 cylinder one or a P304 if I put it on cylinder four, meaning that the faulty component would be the only variable there. This is just a 10 millimeter nut, not a nut, a uh, 10 millimeter bolt. So you just twist and pull, it should come out nice and easy. reinstalling these it's always a good idea to put this uh, dielectric grease on here which helps to keep them from sticking the last thing you want is to have a boot stuck down inside of one of these uh, wells here spark plugs look pretty clean just once again wiggle it a little bit and push it down line up your bolt hole and then do the same thing on the other one these have been changed recently and they still have fresh dielectric grease on them. Now we're going to refasten our 10 millimeter bolts. Very easy to lose in these small engine bays on these new cars. do not need to be very tight. Once it's snug, just go about an eighth of a turn. Maybe not even that. Because this is just plastic. You don't want to break it. You just want it to be snug. And then just a tiny little bit. Maybe a sixteenth of a turn. Now all that's left to do is to reconnect our electrical connectors. Alright. Remove everything from the engine bay area. Now we will start the engine, let it run for a while. Sometimes it's even best to take it on a short test drive 
just to help these codes reappear in the computer. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Well here we have it. We now have a cylinder three misfire detected P303. So we can go ahead and shut off the engine, pop the hood, go ahead and disconnect that as well. So now we're going to remove and replace our original number two, now number three coil pack. Just disconnect the electrical connector by pushing this tab at the bottom and pulling it off. Removing this 10 millimeter bolt. Then you wiggle and pull this pull pack out. Now I'm going to go up to the store and exchange this one because it has a lifetime warranty. All right, we're back. We have the new coil pack, or this would be a coil on plug, however you wanna reference it. We also have some spark plug boot grease. So what we're gonna do here, is we're going to use this boot grease to lubricate the inside of this spark plug boot. Just squeeze a little bit in there. go down on the spark plug. I'm also going to put a little bit on the outside just in case this is a contacting surface inside of that cylinder. One thing you don't want to happen is this to stick to your spark plug and break off in there. So the more lubrication the better. Now this is also, all this really is is dielectric grease. So I'm going to put a little bit on these terminals in here as well. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. That should aid in preventing corrosion. Now that that's done, we will simply reinsert into the hole, wiggle it into place. Take our 10 millimeter bolt, set it back in there. Barely tighten it down. So just one finger, let's go around till uh, till it's got some resistance. And let's give just a little bit more. Nice and snug. Push the connector back onto the coil pack. Make sure everything's nice and secure. reinstall our engine cover by lining up these three bolts underneath into their corresponding holes here, here, and here. good. Well, it sounds nice and smooth. Next thing to do would be to take it on a test drive and then scan for codes. But uh, I think everything's going to work well on this one. 